Hello and welcome to End Computing's MX100D installation guide. Inside your MX100D box includes the following contents. One primary station, two satellite stations, one PCIe card, three Versa mounts with screws, two USB cables, one guidebook and one vSpace server software installation CD. Let's get started. Remove your host machine cover and insert the PCIe card into the PCIe slot on the host machine. Use a Phillips screwdriver to secure the part. Note, this step is optional. Screw the three Versa mounts on the back of your monitor using a Phillips screwdriver. Then take the satellite and tighten it around the Versa mount. Moving on to the hardware installation. Using an Ethernet cable, connect the primary station RJ45 port directly to the available RJ45 port on the MX100 PCIe card in the host device. This connection will also power on the primary station and provide network connectivity for the MX100 devices, so no external power adapter is required. You can connect two additional MX100 kits to each Ethernet port of the PCIe card to get up to nine users. There are three VGA connectors on the primary station. The middle VGA connector is for the main station and the two adjacent VGA connectors are for the satellite stations. Connect the primary station to the satellite via USB. Using the USB ports on the back of the satellite, connect the keyboard and mouse. On the front of the satellite, connect the headphones and a microphone. Turn on your host machine and you're done. That was pretty simple. This completes the hardware installation for the MX100D. It is required to download and run a one-time setup of the MX100D PCIe card as this utility allows the primary station and satellite stations to communicate with the vSpace server. Click download and open your downloads folder in Explorer to run the .exe file. Select Run Anyway and hit Install. If you don't run this utility, the MX100D device cannot connect with the vSpace server and desktop virtualization will not work. You can use the CD to install vSpace server software or download it from the website seen here. Select Login for access. You can create an account or log in as a registered user. In the drop down menu under Product Model, choose MX100D and under Operating Systems, select your respective operating system. Click Apply. Scroll down and select Download to acquire the files. Open your Downloads folder in Explorer and double click the installer.msi to complete the vSpace server software installation. Remember to register your MX100 device. Go to endcomputing.com and log in to register. If you have not already done so, you may create an account or log in as a registered user. Select Management Portal, My Devices, and register to enter the device's serial number. Manually enter the number, click Save, and you have registered your device. 
If done within 90 days from purchase, this extends your device warranty by one additional year. You will also receive early notifications of new releases for enhancements and bug fixes. Download N Computing's registry app from iTunes or Google Play. Go to Login. You may log in as a registered user or go to the following website to create an account. Once logged in, click Start Scanning in the center of the app and your camera will automatically open. Hover over the device's serial number and the app will automatically take a picture of it. Click the timer symbol in the top left and you will see all the devices registered to your account. Please note the following. The MX100 device does not work on legacy operating systems and the maximum of users for MX100D is 9. You have now completed the hardware and software installation for your MX100 device. You are ready for desktop virtualization. You can see here users can surf the web in high performance, perform key office work in high quality, and enjoy multimedia in high definition as if they're on their own personal desktop. The IT manager has complete authorization. On the host device, the administrator uses the vSpace console to monitor sessions. Click on the arrow in the bottom right of the taskbar, then double click the end computing symbol. Go to devices to find the session of all connected clients. Right click and select find session. From this interface, you may view the user's session Send a message to the user. Or end the user's session. This concludes the tutorial for the MX100D installation. Thank you from N Computing.